My mining level is only 46 and I need 70 for Song of the Elves, so let's start off the video by raising that by quite a bit, mining granites. First mining milestone, level 50, and when I get to 61, I can use a dragon pickaxe that we have in the bank, so that is going to help quite a bit. So I'm currently at 56 mining, but Dovdas just put in the first Senite ring and another Onyx amulet that he wants as a fury. But we're going to enchant the first Senite ring into a ring of suffering, and this is for Nick. He is going to actually use that for the Inferno. So let's click the heart, imbue it, and then also the Onyx amulet. And that is the first Ring of Suffering for the team and another Amulet of Fury for Dovidas. And here we go, this is 60 mining, quite an achievement and one more and I can actually use a Dragon Pickaxe that we have. But finally, both me and Max Nick are now ready to actually do some Siliana. We do not have stamina potions yet, but we do have a method of getting that. We're going to try to do some Theater of Blood and actually get stamina pots that way. <laughs> Let's hopefully not get screwed over here. Uh, enter without teleport crystals. Oh, you have to go first, okay? I'll tank for, for the, at least the first part. Oh, yeah, make sure you move around a lot with those blood spawns. They all, yep. One will always target you, and yep. then the rest of them are just gonna be random. Dude, the maiden of Sug on D's, dude. <laughs> uh, I hit one. Dude, this blood thing, do I... What do I do make with sure it? You, just avoid it for now. Okay. If a, couple, if a couple more spawns, we'll freeze one, and then we'll kill it. It never despawns? Uh, now never despawn. You'd have to actually kill it. Okay. Up oh, 70 now. Dude, they're so far away. I got one. Oh, fuck. Doable? Come on! Oh man, this is not. Dude, well. dude, this is so bad. <laughs> Oh no, I uh, proc'd at least. I guess I can look at the I'm, I'm not gonna waste any food, I'm just dying here. Yeah, go ahead. It know. is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, it was a good test. I was actually, yeah. I was genuinely curious. But we should just wait yeah. for Dog Order. He has stamina, like, very soon, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a better choice. So nice, finally got stamina. Oh, looks beautiful. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get holy sandals from this medium clue as well. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I get Holy Sandals, and then we go Siliana, and then we get uh, Armadil Crossbow for Nick. It's a good day. Then we all go Vettion and get me a ring. Exactly. <laughs> we just go and do it, lol. It's just, they just kill the boss and you get them. It's pretty common. Yeah. Uh, a business skeleton is hitting him with a baguette. Business skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> business. <laughs> he's, got, he's got to go for a meeting about his bread business. <laughs> See, this, this is why you you play RuneScape here. Oi! Why did he hit me? <laughs> no! What is he doing? No! I have no business with you, business. No! Guy. Please, please, don't, don't hit me, dude. What the... Hey! Help! What the... Oh, my God. This guy. No! Please. I should... I, dude, I have to go into the wilderness and bait this guy. Time to go with the, with my, all my money into the wilderness. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's too scared, hey, bro, he's dude. He's got a briefcase full of money. <laughs> you. I mean, I think we're gonna get ranger boots. To be honest with you, I'm realistic. Adam at longsword, you say? Yep. I think you're gonna eat your own words, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way, strength amulet as well, though. That's that's hey, kind of fancy. Hey, look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. There we go, that's the stamina finally though. Jesus. And I will give you the strength amulet T for that. Fuck oh, off. Actually, I'll put the adamant longsword in as well, actually, for good take measure. It, oh. Take all the other pots you need as well, like take some prayer, take some... Yeah. Like, bro, you can probably stay in there for ages, and whatever I bring, I'll just bring whatever you're low on, like a few extra prayer. Yeah, he's like one hit off, dead. Know, oh, like, I forgot to do the whole stamp. method, I'll do it next, I'll do it next. About no, dead. Again. First kill. Nice. Good luck. Magic potion. <laughs> oh, that is not the best. Rune battle axe. Hey. Drop table. Oh no. Oh, just stay Help. as long as you can, I guess. Diamonds. Diamonds. Pick them up, and I guess. And... Okay, I'm getting ready to TP. I should TP now. Oh. Bye bye. 
So on the first trip, me and Nick did how many kills? Like six? Five. Five, five kills. Okay, so now we're gonna go with three people. How many do you think we're gonna get? Like 15? Six? six? Oh. <laughs> oh no. I hope at least 10, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah. 10 kills, is that enough to get an ACB? I mean, I've gotten a hilt on 4KC before. Uh, okay, well then, ch math checks out. Bro, We're gonna it get it. 700 to get the No, no, it took me over 1,000 to get the hilt. Oh, uh, we don't talk about that, though. Here we go. Eh, it's not that bad. Alright, Sarah Oh, Sarah Bruce and Restores, that's not bad. First kill, boys. Dude, not running. <laughs> Dude, Im imagine having an infernal cape and not being oh able to cancel me out now. Well, we're just gonna be doing this all day now. Okay. <laughs> uh, zero, zero run. <laughs> I gotta actually. Hey, super right. stores. That's a good drop. Oh my god, Adamant Plate Body. No way. What? Dude, you that's all right, bro. that's like 8k alk. Like How many gold ore is that? Like 40? <laughs> that's how you got look at Oh my god. How much Smith and XP is that? <laughs> oh, Raynor Weed. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe it. Absolute. Yeah, if you do this, I think it's like. 99.9% .9 drop rate of uh, a unique. No, no, no. You got, you got a flex on her, you know. She's an e-girl, so got to show her the goods. Okay, now we get ACB. The Goblin Salute strategy, it... No. Bro, I'm out. <laughs> I'm uh, out guys, I think I have to go. <laughs> this is definitely my kill. For the ACB. Law runes both times, dude. At what? least the stack's going up. Oh I'm yeah, 200 Lawrence, dude. <gasps> Another adamant plate body, no way! <laughs> Come on, get the last hit. It's like 22 HP. Please! I have no run, dude! I'm so bad, I got a TP. I TP'd. Well, we still like squeeze the kill. Solo. Out, so okay. can, you, can you kill it, do you think? Most likely, most likely. <laughs> oh so yeah, I, I got the kill. <laughs> Oh well, how many kills did we get overall? Like, I got 8kc, what did you get? Uh, three. Uh, three? Yeah. Four. Four, okay, so we overall did uh, 15 three, kills? Four. Yeah. 15 Silianas, yeah. I am here back at the Granite Mine and uh, getting the stamina potions from the Theater of Blood did not go as planned, but we got them from Dark World Order instead, so that was a good thing. Also, doing Siliana was a bit harder than we expected, the minions were hitting pretty consistently on us, but it was a fun thing to do and we're definitely going to do more in the future, all the drops there is really nice. But I think I should be getting from one mine here, 61 mining. And I will be able to use the dragon pickaxe now, which is going to speed this up by quite a bit. A quick shout out to uh, sorry Mr. Tom, he actually decided to give me a bond, which uh, is the first bond or like donation type thing I've ever got, which is uh, 14 days of membership. We were just chatting here at the granite mine and uh, yeah, thank you so much for that, it means a lot. Actually something I realized is that now that we have Staminas, doing Blast Furnace is so much better experience because you can run all the time. And I'm stopping at 62 mining I think and I'm getting the Ice Gloves here and I'm going to spend all my money, the 1.2 million I have, on gold ores and see how far I can get on my smithing grind towards 70. Buying gold ore at the Blast Furnace gets expensive very fast, so when it's fully stocked, which is 100, they are 225 each. And if I buy one inventory, they are now 346. So what I'm doing is I'm just buying one inventory if it's fully stocked and then running to the bank putting it in and then I'm hopping to another world to get as many as I can. I'm at 3000 gold ore and I'm actually going to save this last 200k because you also need to pay a bit to be able to use the blast furnace before you level 60. I probably should be able to get to 60 with those 3000 gold ore but I'm not 100% but uh, I can basically just put in money here after I think pay this guy first. Yeah, 2.5k and you have to pay pretty often in the beginning, like every 10 minutes. So all you really have to do if you have the ice gauntlets and the goldsmithing gauntlet is put the ore on the conveyor belt like this, have the goldsmithing gauntlet equipped, you will get a 1.5k experience drop, equip the ice gloves and then just take out all the gold bars and that's all you do.
And that is the last gold ore I had for 165,000 experience. That is a lot of experience. I went all the way from, I think, 44 to 57. And I also actually hit over 1.5k total during that. And right after I ran out of money, I see this message from Dovidas. He actually got a 10 million cash stack mostly from doing Revenants. And he said I could take 4 million as a payback for the 1 million I gave him a long time ago. Quite an interest rate on that one. Honestly, I forgot how good power mining on iron was. Like, look at how fast this is. 35 experience, 35 experience, 35 experience. And the granite gives like 50 all the way to 75, depending on how much of it you get each time. But this is just so much faster. Another mining level, 63, only 7 more to go until I'm done with mining. But now that I got so much money from Dovidas, I am really feeling like smashing out as much smithing with that as possible not sure if it will be enough for 70 but should get me pretty close and that is all the gold ore i need 9300 and i still have 800k left which is actually perfect because you of course need to pay the small fee to be able to use the blast furnace let's get 70 smithing well, 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 uh, here we go. This is actually the last gold ore that I will have to smith for the 70 requirement. So let's get that 70 smithing done. And actually during this time, you can see on my total level, I did actually hit over 15,000 total levels. So I am getting up there a bit in the total levels. I mean, there are people who are like 1800 already, but uh, I'm not that sweaty. So 12,000 gold bars that I can actually use for crafting in the future, which is going to be quite a lot of crafting experience for gold bracelets, and I can also also uh, alk them for a good amount of money. So whenever I have some downtime, I can actually do some gold bar smithing into gold bracelets, and it's 25 crafting experience per one, so all those gold bars, if I do them, is going to be like 300,000 crafting experience, but of course, over a long time. Now that I have the smithing goal done, I am actually going to start working on the construction goal, which is 70, and I'm going to do it through Mahogany Homes, or with t clocks, I guess, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Ape Atoll with the imbued heart boost like I'm doing now, run up the ladder right here, and then there are teak trees right there, and then just teleport back to Castle Wars, and that's how I'm going to bank like 2000 t clocks, which should be enough for 70 construction, I'm pretty sure. So right now I'm at 1476 teak logs and I'm actually going to stop here for this video. I don't want to drag it out too much but I only need like 500 more and then I should have enough logs roughly to get 70 construction. Which is very nice to have that done pretty soon but uh, let's actually have a quick look at the Song of the Elves requirements. It is right there and I need of course the Morning Sand Part 2 making history. Both of these uh, quest lines are going to be pretty fast compared to obviously leveling the skills. 70 construction should be done very soon, 70 mining also should be done pretty soon, and 70 farming, I'm already close to 60 and I have some mahogany trees planted, so that should also kind of be fine. The 70 herb lore is the big hard problem that I actually have to work towards, but I think I might get gifted some herbs now and then from Dark World Order, because he's already hit the herb lore gold of stamina that he wanted, but also I'm going to be doing a lot of farm runs for herbs, I'm already uh, doing irits right now and that should help with both 70 farming and 70 herb lore. I think we can get to Priftonus pretty soon honestly which is very nice to see and uh, yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads and until next time guys have a good one.